We had this essay, this is High Priestess Yashodhara Singh, welcome number four. For those of you born on the 4th, the 13th, the 31st, the 22nd, please add your birth date. If it adds to a number four, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. One of them is the Angel deck. Yes, we are using it as an oracular card, the Akashic Oracle and the Chakra Oracle. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Wicca deck, the Dragon deck, the Gilded Tarot. I'm sorry, that's a Golden Wheel and this is the Gilded Tarot. All right, let's see what the beautiful cards have in store for you. Number four, you really have an interesting month and I want you to keep your mind and ears open, okay? You've pulled out the card of Renewal, Ace of Air, or Air is the um, element of Spirit, Ace of Swords. And the seven of scrolls which says intricacies and industry i am going to take them one by one as usual renewal um so this month you will feel that you need to uh, stop running on empty stop running on fumes which means you need some sort of meditation some sort of you know breathing technique something to just unwind yourself because it looks like you're wound up too tight maybe you had a couple of um deadlines to meet maybe you had to burn the midnight lamp and work really really hard uh, maybe you had a lot of things to handle um, and that's why you're feeling like you need a break and the, and if you can go for a break that's great but if you can't go for a break just being by yourself sitting on your couch your chair on your bed somewhere where you can just close your eyes take five minutes and breathe in and breathe out even that is good enough a good night's sleep i would definitely recommend so you need some kind of a renewal to recharge your batteries right to gain some spirit energy ace of swords tells me that a new challenging beginning is going to happen you will finally see the truth of a situation brilliant new ideas and inspirations are going to be uh, coming your way and in a situation where you have to act you're being asked to act now so that victory is yours otherwise the universe will take a, a call for you intricacies and in industry so interestingly this card also means that you will have to tie the loose ends if you're planning to start something on your own or with someone else if you are planning to invest or self-employ yourself or if say you're working for a company and they have given you a project to handle so anything that has to do with the finance aspect of your life needs to be worked on and in this particular aspect it means a little more research has to go so that you are able to uh, walk ahead with confidence and achieve your desired goal the first week of uh, march 2024 number four you've pulled out uh, the seven of wands the ten of swords the five of cups and the knight of swords so the seven of wands means that uh, uh, despite having recently gained a victory uh, big or small doesn't matter but it was something that you were happy about because it was something that won you either a congratulations or uh, acknowledgement or some kind of a laurel but definitely a victory you're not stopping and resting on your laurels instead you're moving on and finding more and more enterprising ways to um, do better and better in your work and i do appreciate people like that okay ten of swords so uh ten of swords is a card which means that you're feeling um, you're feeling like you should have listened to your gut you shouldn't have silenced it you should have followed what your your gut was telling you to do and because you did not listen to it at that point of time, you're now regretting a certain decision that you have taken. Okay, so I'll give you that, that at least the realization has set in, but continuously telling yourself and making yourself feel bad is not going to help matters. On the contrary, what's going to happen is it's going to pull your vibe down and you know that that's not going to help you. Instead, try and pull yourself out of it and say, lesson learned, I won't ever ignore my gut again. I'll listen to my instinct and follow it because it's my guiding light. 
do that and I promise you will snap out of it. The five of cups tells me that your perception is what is wrong here. Nobody is after you. Nobody is out to get you. Here what's happening is you're looking at the glass half empty. You're looking at the things that you don't have. Instead, if you look at the things that you have and you express gratitude for it, your vibes will go up. You see, all these cards are about vibrations. You need to check your vibes. And if you're not feeling like you can manage it by yourself, you need to get a vibe switch spell done. The Knight of Swords is a direct message from the universe, whether you should or shouldn't, whether you should be static or you know stationary in your path, whether you should be moving forward. This card is here to say that you need to charge ahead with no, with no fear. This path that you have undertaken is going to be a good journey for you and that works best for you. The second week of March uh, 2024, number four, you've pulled out the Three of Cups. The Knight of Swords again, the Hermit card, and the Ace of Wands. Of course, the double card here means, again, you need to charge ahead. So you're moving in the right direction, number four, the first and the second week, keep moving forward and keep galloping and you're doing well. Just don't go in breakneck speed, okay? Three of Cups, this is a card we use a lot in spell casting. This card means that uh, there is going to be a celebration which you'll be either attending or conducting a small gathering or get together is also possible. But this is a card of abundance. This is a card that says, that this little meeting is important so that you laugh, have a nice time and get your vibes up. Your life should always be about balance and vibrational frequency. If you manage these two, you will have the kind of quality life that you see for yourself. The Hobbit card tells me that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to introspect. You need to look within yourself you need to see what's going wrong and how to fix it and then find corrective measures for it. The Ace of Wands tells me that the solution that you're looking for is available within magic. Just make sure you're practicing the right kind of it. Third week of March 2023, number four, you've pulled out the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Fool card and the Two of Wands. So the Five of Wands uh, means you've taken a decision and this decision is something that uh, well not everyone is in um, is in agreement and uh, in agreement of and also the people that you were expecting to be supportive are the ones who are uh, giving you why you shouldn't walk in that direction first thing if it is something that you feel is what you have to do without harming or hurting anyone then you should go ahead and do it and secondly, if convincing is too much, then maybe you should just move away from the situation, let things cool down a bit and then um, justify yourself if it is required. But sometimes you need to take a decision and move and uh, let people who uh, really matter uh, come, you know, walk along or trickle back into your life. Sometimes, you know, it depends really what we are talking about here. The Queen of Swords, don't go by the gender, you could be a male also. This means that uh, either you're a Gemini or dealing with one. This card is also for divorce and widowhood. This card also means that you're being a little more stern than usual because there is a responsibility that has been given to you and that is why you're being a little strict and uh, with people around you, getting your jobs done, tasks done and uh, that is not how people are going to define you. So don't worry about it, okay? Don't sweat it. The Fool card is a card which means that uh, you are being asked to take a leap of faith, believing that the universe has your back at all times, which it does. Uh, you're overthinking a situation and that is why it's getting more and more complicated. Stop doing that, okay? Overthinking never helps. Two of Wands. Looks like you already have something nice and good in your hands and you're building it up and you're making it bigger, better, larger and brighter to present um, and it and you are going to do well with it because you are being quite creative about it and uh, it's really exciting you because it looks like you have some you know what you have in your hands but don't overdo it okay it's like um, some people like normal cake and some people like icing on the cake but nobody likes too much of cake or too much of icing know when to put a stop to it and the last week of March 2023 number four you've pulled out the king of cups the page of swords the Ten of Wands and the Three of Cups. So we've already had the Three of Cups once before. This is a double card. 
so it looks like uh, i think we pulled out a gilded one yes we did so there you go another message you put out many double cards this time number four good for you and it's a beautiful card of abundance so again this is in the last week don't move away and don't shy away from uh, being a part of this little gathering it looks like you could really use it and this is an excellent way um, to just get your vibrations high being with people who you like to have a good laugh with enjoy and be done with it page of swords tells me that you will be receiving or giving out a harsh message if you are getting a harsh, a harsh message there is no need to um, you know give back an eye for an eye and you know have that kind of mentality learn to be genteel and if you are going to give out a harsh message then please make sure that's your last resort the king of cups tells me that you could be a pisces cancer scorpio or dealing with one don't go by the gender you could be a female also this card also means you're holding on to something very tightly and because of that people are looking at you like you're a helpless and desperate person frustrated even and that's not how you want them to define you do not uh, use your energy and focus on the result of not losing this thing this person this um, concept this aim this wish this desire instead focus on the process and uh, be all right uh, with the confidence that you have and the intention that you've set right the ten of wands tells me that you are uh, working really really hard um, you know keeping your head in your books and uh, trying to achieve your aim uh, although you can see where you are going and you can see your aim and your destination but you still feel really uh, exhausted because um, let's use the word overwhelmed here because for some of you it feels like there's just no end and you're like a hamster on a wheel does it happen to everyone oh yeah what do you do uh, in my personal experience i've seen you need to step back take a couple of breaths and um, get back right on the saddle but get back right on the saddle only when you're sure that you can uh, you can match the pace of your horse right because when the horse gallops you need to ensure that you're also moving along with it otherwise you'll hurt your you know where so Ten of Wands essentially is a card that says that you're feeling overwhelmed right now. Now, that's pretty much the end of your reading number four. But what I'm seeing out here is we've got good cards. But here we are talking about vibrations. We are talking about feeling overwhelmed. We are fe we, you know, and uh, you feel like um, you're a little scattered right now in terms of your energy. You need to give yourself some time to recharge because I think you need and you're running really, really fast and you're expecting to finish a lot of things so don't do that because biting off more than your more than what you can chew is never a good idea all right i will leave you with these cards to think about remember this is a general reading if you want to have a reading done get in touch and we'll patch you across to one of our readers take care of yourselves i will see you in the month of april love light and knowledge to you all beatus essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhina